This is Sargon representing for Buzz TV. This is Sargon here. I do a lot of shows. Gotta support the local flavor when I go to shows. You know what I'm saying? So the other day, on a whim, I decided to buy five dollars for a magazine and a CD. You know what I'm saying? So what we got? Against my, my better judgment, nonetheless. But I couldn't walk away from from the table without getting some because you know. So I got a trap season, and if you know me, I'm not a fan of trap music. So I mean, apparently this guy. Uh, gentleman in the white t-shirt, I believe, uh, he got, he, he must have paid to get in the magazine, and then you get to get the CD for free with the magazine, I guess, and this is one of the, the guy at the table was trying to get me to do this, you know, I gave me this card so I can get Sargon in here, so, let's see if it's any good, we're going to check out the CD, and we're going to look at the Latin magazine a little bit, and we're going to give it a little bit of review for Buzz TV! Alright, well... Just listen to the first song on the uh, Bud Trap Season 2 album. And uh, as I expected, it's unlistenable. It's intolerable. It's uh, lots of hi hats. Sound like the fucking first Little John track, you know what I'm saying, from years ago. Is that that trap shit? And they talk about, you know, that type of nonsense. That fucking mindless, fucking low IQ garbage. And of course they got all the keywords in there, you know, saying they're talking about their money and their drugs. <gasps> you know, it's just it's just terrible. But we're gonna go to the next track. Maybe it's maybe maybe it's cool. Alright. I'm becoming daunted by what I'm hearing. Second track is all about weed and coke. Same old trap beat, you know what I'm saying? Same old hi hats, fucking nonsense. <laughs> Crap. Uh, and it's just mindless. It's in, uh, no intelligence whatsoever, no creativity. It's just bragging about the same shit. So, uh, no, we all get through it, though. Track three was a pinch better, but still terrible. Okay, it was all about the money. It was actually called All About the Money, and this song was all about the money and, and, and the drugs. And, uh, you know, the beat was a little more hip-hop, and the style of rapping was a little more hip-hop, but it still was just... Just like, just, just real, just real ignorant nonsense, you know what I'm saying? It, it didn't make the cut whatsoever. But, uh, oh yeah, and, and they say it's called All About the Money Freestyle, the parentheses after the title. Let me tell you something, it's, it's 2016. If you rappers don't understand what a freestyle is, yo, there's no hope for you. You shouldn't even be rapping, okay? A freestyle is not like some little quick track you make. You know, you can't, like a little quick, you know, you drop a verse on don't beat. That's not a freestyle. That's just a verse, a little quick, quick track. A freestyle is off the dome. Like, why do we not, why are we not making the discernment between the two in our labeling our tracks? That wasn't a freestyle. Clearly the guy was, was right, you know, it was written that, that I was just listening to. It's not a freestyle, all right? Get it, get it right. And, and it ain't a fucking mixtape, okay? Back when I was fucking in the, in the, in the 90s, that was a mixtape because it was on a fucking cassette tape, okay? You guys were putting out CDs and shit or just a fucking downloadable zip file on that piff and call it a mixtape. It's not a tape, okay? So rephrase your fucking collection. Your album is, is not a tape any longer, fellas. So let's get our fucking, let's get our grammar right and maybe we can be better at our hip-hop if we can speak properly and understand how to use our words right. All right, let's Track four was called The Struggle, which it was to listen to, because they broke a cardinal rule immediately, started using auto-tune, and it's not even like he was trying to sing in the chorus, he was just like chanting like The Struggle over and over again, but using auto-tune with it, as if it needed to be fixed, like he wasn't even singing, so why are you using auto-tune man, that shit, don't even use it anyway, yeah I hear, I hear auto-tune in the track, Boop, skip to the next track, so just know that fellas, let's move on. It's hurting me, man. It's hurting me. But we on track five. Alright. Uh, and, um, just another trap nonsense. Trap nonsense talking about drugs. And, uh, some weird-ass fucking chorus and shit. And, again, in parentheses, they call it a freestyle. When, clearly, it's, uh, a, a concept. A poor one at that. Let's move on. The last track I just listened to is called On My Level. And his level is obviously, like, down here. You know, in fact, I'm not gonna go all the way. Well, do it. All the way down. All right, there it is. That's his level. And of course, the song started with auto tune. So it's 
so, you know, I was going to skip it immediately, but I said, fuck it. I mean, how, how much worse can we get? So I'm going to let it rock with it. But yeah, he's just still talking about guns, drugs, saying, you know, a lot of, a lot of N-words, you know, saying, this, this guy, you know, you probably can't really have a, 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 an enlightening conversation with this individual. You know, saying, you probably, probably just good, you buy a bag of weed from him, or you buy a bag of Connie from him, and that's probably the extent of the interaction you'd probably want with a person like this. Because he just has nothing to bring to the table. There's no humor, there's no creativity, the lyrics are stupid. A very, very low reading level of uh, intelligence. So, uh, alright, let's move on. Alright, another track with freestyle and auto tune. Bad as usual. Let's move on. Alright, 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 alright. So, we up to uh, track 8, which is called Trappin'. Which I'm assuming is kind of like the subtitle of the album for Trap Season. <laughs> it's just your usual trap garbage. You know, a lot of N words, a lot of talking about money, talking about making fun of people who don't have money, or just like, you know. And it's just really bad. It's really terrible. But there's hope. The last four tracks on the album is he actually has features, people with him. You know what I'm saying? Like his boys, I guess. Which, uh, up until this point, there haven't been any features. So, um, you know, I'm wondering. You know, clearly they're probably gonna be better than him. So I got hope. I got hope. Let's check out let's check out these other raps. Trap music sucks. All right, it's called Bottles, featuring L exclamation point Z. I don't know what that says, but it was a dude, and it, it wasn't a trap beat, which was nice. But it was like more of like it was like a poppy club beat, but it was better than trap beats, but it was still terrible. All right, so now I'm waiting for this dude L. Exclamation point Z to come on. I mean, his flow was better, but he was using auto tune, and and it's just like just some poppy like fucking girl like wannabe club track. Yo, check it out. If anything, for Buzz TV, you know, from the real, the best thing I got out of this motherfucking CD is this jewel case right here because I can take. A copy of the Buzz TV DVD, put it in the free jewel case, and re gift it. Okay? You know what I'm saying? And, and the CD will just end up in the archive of local rap CDs. You know what I'm saying? But uh, at least we got a free jewel case. Well, let's check the next two tracks. Track 10 was called Busted Open. It was like a wannabe popping pussy track in the club. Auto tune, of course, and uh, trying to sound like Lil Wayne, you know, uh, nonsense. The guys trying to sound like mixed between Lil Wayne, Lil John. You know, I, I don't even know. I don't even, I, you know, I don't listen to trap music, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking terrible, okay? I, I, I've listened to so much hip hop in my life that my tastes have become refined. So when I hear nonsense like this, it's just amazing to me. How people, like, what are you doing? Is this what you want to do with your life? It's like, yo, you, you sound terrible. It's like, what are you doing? You're not Lil Wayne, man. Yo, you're not, yo, you gotta be a satanic faggot to be Lil Wayne. You're trying so hard to be Lil Wayne, man. Why you got, why y'all want to be satanic faggots, man? Doing that garbage music, man. Hold on, you, you, you need to remember what hip-hop is all about, man. It's about cleverness. It's, 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 the, it's the humor. It's the intelligence. It's, it's the concept. It's bringing something new to the table. It's not just rehab. All this fucking trap, monkey, mindless garbage. And nobody's ever gonna remember this, man. Except for being terrible. Well, let's hear the last song. The last song's a pussy cut. So hopefully, one of his boys will shine. These motherfucker rappers on this CD, they be whack. You know what I'm talking about? Hmm. Alright, so listen to the last song. Cheesy beat. It wasn't a trap beat. It wasn't a club beat. But it was just like a cheesy pussy beat. But he had his boys on it, and uh, his boys Scythe and Prophecy, and they. I would much rather have heard them the whole time, even though they weren't really that great. But you know, they held it down for a little something, something. You know, it was it was slightly listenable. These guys talking about Gucci and Prada, and like they're talking about wearing like women's fashion on themselves. All these, all these, why do these rappers want to wear women's fashions, man? Like, what's the matter with a pair of jeans, sneakers? You know, why, why, you know, like, what are you doing, man? Like, yo, chill. This should be your skills and, and your personality 
and, and you, you know, that gets you the, the right woman, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, well, unless you're just a fag and, like, you want to be a woman, why are you wearing these Pradas and are you boasting about wearing women's fashion? What is the rating system? Five stars or what is it? Five, two thumbs up? What, how do they do it these days? It's all down. I give you no points. I give you nothing. But, except for the five dollars. But I bet you ain't even getting that though, you know what I'm saying? I gave five dollars for this choice. But we got, we got the magazine. The Streets Most Magazine. So we're gonna, we're gonna check that out as well. I believe that's Bud. <clears throat> but you can see clearly here that Bud is trying to flash off all his money. So it's like, alright bro. Money doesn't make you dope. Like, you being like well dressed and having money and uh, you know it doesn't make you dope it just makes you have money and be well dressed you know like like uh, what are you people thinking if you, you think I'm gonna follow you because of your outer appearance no I, your, your music is audio I want to hear the fucking audio dude you know so you know you could be a damn bum on the street but it's, if your shit is dope your shit is dope I ain't trying to look at you all day. I'm trying to listen to some music. It's like the last page of the uh, of the magazine. You got the Bud and Cleasy. I don't know who the fuck Cleasy is because I don't think he was only even on the album we just heard. You guys couldn't have found better pictures to put up. Like, look at these dark ass pictures. They're like in a an abandoned basement. You know what I'm saying? Doing these dark ass pictures, no flash on the motherfucking camera. You couldn't just like tweak them out and brighten the motherfuckers up on. You know what I'm saying? Wait, these Polaroids, man? Give it up, you little pentagram, you little, little Baphomet pentagrams, you know what I'm saying? Right there, boom, boom. This guy's throwing money in the air. Like, oh, yeah, ooh, throwing money in the air. Let's see, he's trying to throw money in the air and shit. It's like, woo, I'm throwing money in the air. Oh, wait, he has a cigar. He has a cigar and money. Gotta check him out, man, because they do things like smoke cigars and throw money in the air in the basement. Yeah. Terrible, bro. Terrible, man. These dudes are too young, man. They ain't got no wisdom, bro. That's what it is. They just can't hate on them for that. Just got, they got no wisdom. They got no knowledge of self. They, they followers, man. They trying to, they trying to recreate something that they think is gonna get them, uh, you know, whatever. I guess they're looking for. This is all God representing for Buzz TV.